right, kids? Let's play Never Have I Ever. Hold up your fingers and I'll say the phrase, Never Have I Ever. Then I'll finish the sentence with an activity. If you have done that activity before, you put a finger down. Ready? Never have I ever sang a song while eating a sandwich. Never have I ever cleaned my room while wearing a bathing suit. Never have I ever dropped my ice cream. Never have I ever fallen asleep while watching a movie. Never have I ever had gum stuck in my hair. Never have I ever taken a horrible picture on picture day. Never have I ever traveled outside the country. Never have I ever wanted to be a superhero. Never have I ever been to a sleepover. Never have I ever been on a roller coaster. Never have I ever performed in a talent show. How many fingers do you have left? Wow, some of you have done a lot of interesting things. Today we will learn about a time. Paul listed some of the many sufferings he faced as a result of telling people about Jesus. Why do you think Paul would talk about the things he did to spread the truth about Jesus? We'll find out in a minute. But first, our Bible verse. This is our last time with this verse, so let's make sure we have it memorized. Let's say it together. Colossians 1:18. And he is the head of the body, the church, who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he might have the preeminence. Colossians 1:18. Let's say it again without looking at the words. Colossians 1:18. And he is the head of the body, the church, who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he might have the preeminence. Colossians 1:18. Last week we learned how Paul also known as Saul, was an enemy of Jesus and Christians. But God can save anyone. Paul had a life-changing encounter with Jesus on the road to Damascus, and Paul was saved from his sins and turned away from his old ways. Paul started to share the good news of the gospel to people everywhere he went. He had shared the good news of Jesus in a place called Corinth. Many people believed the gospel and they began meeting together as a church. After Paul left, he heard that the believers in Corinth were turning away from the gospel. Other people had come and taught them things that weren't true. These teachers led the Corinthians away from the true gospel, and Paul was concerned. So Paul wrote a letter to the church. Listen, Paul wrote, I care about you. I want you to be faithful to Jesus and remember the gospel. Paul knew that the people had been tricked by false teachers. The serpent in the Garden of Eden had tricked Eve. Eve had everything she needed, but she believed the serpent's lie and disobeyed God. The Corinthian believers had everything they needed, the good news of the gospel, yet they were turning away to listen to wrong teaching. I am not a great speaker, Paul admitted, but I know what I am talking about. Paul relied on God's power to share the gospel. He spent his life sharing the good news, even though it meant facing suffering. Paul didn't share the good news to get something from those who listened. He told them about Jesus because he loved them. Paul wrote, I won't back down. False teachers are trying to spread different messages so that the good news about Jesus won't go out. These teachers are against God and they're only trying to take advantage of you. Paul spoke up because he knew the truth. If anyone deserves to be listened to, it's me. I've worked hard, been thrown in jail and beaten and nearly died to share the gospel. This was all true. The list of sufferings Paul endured to share the gospel was long. In fact, the Never Have I Ever Paul edition would be something like this. Never have I ever been thrown in jail. Never have I ever been whipped five times. Never have I ever been beaten with rods three times. Never have I ever been stoned. Never have I ever been shipwrecked three times. Wow, Paul definitely deserved to be listened to. God had chosen Paul and changed his life. Paul knew his suffering was worth it and he wasn't going to give up. I do all of this because God, the Father of the Lord Jesus, deserves to be praised. Sharing Jesus with the world is not always easy. There will always be some who try to stop the good news from spreading. God calls believers to follow and obey Jesus no matter what. Are you up for the challenge? Are you willing to share the good news with a friend in school, even if he might make fun of you? Are you willing to tell a family member about Jesus, even if they might be offended? The same way God called Paul to share the gospel, he has called each of his believers as well. Will you obey the call?